From the very start to the very end of this trip, wherever the Pope went, thousands lined the streets. His route to the airport in Manila was no exception. In a country with 80 million Catholics, the biggest Catholic population in Asia, many took this final opportunity to catch a glimpse of Pope Francis. For some, it is a day they will never forget, and one they will undoubtedly talk about to those who are too young to fully appreciate it. As the leader of the Catholic Church arrived at the airport, more crowds awaited. There was a departure ceremony as the Pope said his farewells. Music, singing and dancing, which have been features throughout this trip. The smiles all round, an indication of how successful this visit has been. There have been several highlights which will be remembered from the past few days. On Thursday, the Pope arrived in Manila, the first papal visit for 20 years. On Friday, he met families at the packed Mall of Asia arena. The following day, he celebrated Mass in Tacloban, the city devastated by Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, but a developing tropical storm meant he left early. Sunday saw thousands of young people turn out to hear him speak at the Catholic University of Santo Tomas in Manila. Later that day, six million attended an outdoor mass in Manila's Rizal Park, a record number according to the Vatican. Then, just before 10am local time on Monday, the Pope boarded his plane. Time for one final wave goodbye, and with that brought this papal visit to a close. Ben Bland, BBC News.